What is up guys, it's me, Chef Salsa, and today we're going to be doing a versus video on my Galaxy and Eskimo. So, um, let's get into it. Basically in my versus videos, whether it's Nerf or fans, I usually do pros and cons. So, for each, like, object. So we're going to do Galaxy and Eskimo. And we're going to compare them. Maybe we'll, we're going to run them, and then maybe we'll do startup sounds. So... Here we go. Starting off with the Eskimo, the one on the right. Some pros are it's got a handle, custom handle. Now you're probably wondering what happened to the original handle. You can see it's rope. I have it with me, I saved it. Um, but it, the plastic is too weak, it doesn't bend anymore. It's like, it's like really straight. So we couldn't use it anymore because it was gonna break. But also the screws that were holding it in are super weak, so. I just took it out and replaced it to be safe, but I'm not going to get rid of the handle. I still have it. Another pro is the paint. It's got like a teal color and looks pretty cool. Another pro is the motor ports, which I will show you in a minute when we show the motors. Another pro is the metal blades. Usually they're quieter and they move a lot more air. Why they stop using them, I don't know. Probably because plastic costs less. Now some cons. What's so bad about the Eskimo? Well, it's got no fan stand option. Now, if you don't know what this means, like here's my last go. And see this little square? That's where a fan stand. And the Eskimo doesn't have that. Eskimo doesn't have anything at all. So if you want to put it on a fan stand, there's no holes there, so you can't. And it's really heavy. I have four fans in this room, and this is the heaviest one. Um, and another con is it's two-speed. There's not really anything wrong with the two-speed, but if the three-speed can exist, and it's used a lot more, then I have to, you know, I have to say that two-speed is a con compared to that. Because three-speed is better. Now, the Galaxy is not good with that either is it you'll see in a second so pros and cons of the galaxy will start some pros the blade color and slash design so basically the design of the fan looks really nice the same as like a blue color as a look at the blades they're like a blue they don't look like too much because the sun's shining like on them but if, if there's like a light behind the blades they're kind of translucent so that's cool. Another thing is the handle, which you can't see, but it's leather. I didn't put that on there. The original owner did when I got it. Another pro is the startup sound. It's got the best startup sound in this room. But also, out of all my fans, it's got the second best startup sound. It just sounds nice. And it's unique. You'll see why in a second. Um, not many fans have blue blades. And... Yeah, some cons would be the motor. It's got a Sears motor, which is plastic, and the one in this fan is particularly damaged. Um, the plastic was cracked quite a bit. I kind of fixed it, but it's not perfect. So if I get an opportunity to replace it, I might. And the whole reason why this fan is weird is because it's a one speed. I'm not joking you. This fan has one speed, and that's it. Just on or off. Considering the size of this, and it's like literally even taller than the Eskimo, you can kind of see the height difference with the Sears motor. I kind of find it weird that it's a one speed. And that's the way the fan came, because the sticker on the top says on or off. So it's not like the guy modified the motor or anything. And another con is the grills are weak. They're really yellowed out, they're just kind of, you know, old. I guarantee if you were to, you know, bump into it or something were to hit it, the grills would crack and there's a lot of slats missing. They're really old. So, yeah. I'll show you some of these things like the motors and the speeds in a second. So, so yeah, for the Eskimo, we have four pros and three cons. And for the Galaxy, we have four pros and 
three cons. So both of them have the same amount of pros and cons. Pretty cool. Now, as I turn this fan around, you're going to see. This one has the fan stand option. A little hole in the middle. I mean, yeah. That's the Sears motor. You can't really see the damage, but yeah. The whole motor was cracked. It was falling apart. It was no good anymore. But it fixed it, so it's pretty much good until it dies. Then we have the Eskimo, which has no fan stand option. There's nothing there. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it's got an Edison motor. And the oil port is right here. Now, this isn't really a big thing because the oil port is kind of weird. I don't really, I don't even think it works or I don't even know if it works. So, who knows? So that's the back. And then I'll show you the I'll show you the stickers on the top when we get to start of things. Oh my god, it tipped over the camera. Now, why don't I just show you guys now? You can see, it's got two speeds. And this one just says, on or off. So, weird. Yeah, the fan was so heavy, it, it shook the phone over. This cord in the way all right yeah that was kind of a pain because i had to lean over to move them anyway without talking let's turn the fans on because it's been a while so here we go Quite a bit of air. That hissing sound you're hearing is the bearing. For some reason it moves around with the shaft, which is annoying, but there's not really a big problem and it's kind of hard to fix. It doesn't really affect anything to spin on, it's still really nice, it's just kind of noisy. Alright. Now the Eskimo has two speeds. I'll show you high and low just to compare. Um, high speed. A little bit more powerful than the Galaxy. Yeah, good that. sleep with this low I feel like the low speeds on this fan is actually too quiet I'd say like a on, on like a Lakewood this works good but low is like almost too quiet to be honest and it's some of it plays in part with the metal blades they're really wide so that kind of adds to how quiet it is. So yeah. So now that we did that, and you guys know how they run, which is very good. Let's get to startup sounds. Now the Galaxy sounds really nice. look you can see right there there's some electrical tape we had to use some of that to keep it together here's the Eskimo sort of sound on high I don't know what that buzzing is I don't really care because it doesn't sound like a fire hazard or anything I mean it kind of does but I think it's vibration 
because it goes away when it gets up to full speed, so it kind of makes sense. If you guys enjoyed this video, please check out my other versus ones and like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.